Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into another essential tutorial, testing card operations of Spring Data JPA in a Spring Boot project. In this video, I will guide you through the process of testing, create, read, update and delete operations with JUnit. If you have working with Spring Boot for a while, you are probably familiar with the common three layer architecture that Spring developer uses. Controller layer, service layer, repository or DAO layer. In this tutorial, we will focus specifically on the repository or DAO layer. I will show you how to write effective JUnit test cases to ensure your repository layer performs as expected. Let's get started and make sure the card operations are rock solid. Let's start with a new project. Go to start.spring.io. I am creating a Maven project and the language is Java and the, select the Spring Boot version. At the time of this recording, the latest Spring Boot version is 3.3.2. Now it's time to provide some metadata. Provide the group name. Learn with Iftikhar. Now artifact. Let's say Spring JPA card test then the packaging is jar and java version at the time of this recording i have java 17 is installed so i am using java 17 but if you have java 21 or 22 go for it now it's time to add the dependencies to add a dependency click on this add dependencies button or alternatively you can click ctrl plus b if you are using windows or command plus B if you are using Mac. It will show this model that shows available Maven dependencies. From here, I am going to select Spring Data JPA. Again, add dependency. Now I need to select the database driver. Here, a various database driver is available. For example, MySQL driver for MySQL database, Oracle for Oracle database, also, a driver for PostgreSQL database is also available. I am going to select H2 database. So, selecting this H2 database. I am choosing H2 database because it is a lightweight in-memory database. This is most commonly used database in testing scenarios. Let also add MySQL database driver so that I can show you how to test against a real server-based database. Again, I am creating a new project from scratch. If you already have a project, just add the necessary dependency and skip to the next part where I will show you how to write the test cases. Now, all the necessary dependency is added. Click here to generate. It will generate the project and download in your computer. So I am clicking here to generate. It has generated and downloaded my project. Now extract this zip file and open it in your favorite IDE. I have opened it in IntelliJ IDE. I am using IntelliJ IDE Ultimate version. If you are using Spring Tool Suite or Eclipse for your development purpose, that will also work. Here is the project in the sidebar. Inside the project, here is the pom.xml. POM stands for Project Object Model. is the fundamental unit of work in Maven. Opening the POM file, here in this POM file, this is our metadata that we have defined this artifact id the name and let's scroll a little bit down here the java version that we have selected and also these are the dependencies that we have added this is for spring data jpa dependency for h2 database for mysql connector that is for mysql driver and this is spring boot starter test this is added by default when we have created this project. Now, inside this src folder, then main, then java. This is our base package. We will put our code here. Here, I am creating a new java class. That is, let's say employee. This employee will be our entity. I will make it simple so that I only focus on the testing part of this. Let's say uh, the employee will have ID, private, that type is long, then ID, then the employee should have a name, so private, 
string name and every employee should have a email address private this is string and email also let's say we want to add another property for joining date for date the data type is local date joining date now for the entity we need to create a constructor generate constructor select all except this id this will be generated automatically by the database so select okay now we also need another constructor without any arguments so again generate constructor select none now it's time to generate a setter and getter so generate getter and setter select all and ok so our employee class is ready we have defined necessary properties and the necessary methods it's time to make it entity to make it entity we need to annotate it with entity and map it with a table table name is employee now we need to define our primary key in our case we will define this id as our primary key so annotate it with id and we need to tell spring how this id will be generated this id will be generated automatically i will rely on database auto increment feature so declare this in a new annotation at generated value let's import the class and the strategy is generation type generation type dot here you can see couple of options is available i will rely on this identity that is for auto increment id of the database and we will also assume the email of each employee is unique here you can provide you any validation if you need but i am keeping it simple so i i don't need to do anything else so besides this generation type i will give it this column a name name is id our next property is name provide this also a column column name is name next is our email so column is email i'll assume this email is unique that means each employee should have unique email address uh, for this you can add a validation but i'm not going to focus on this so just column is enough for unique email you may need to add a unique constraint next for our joining that let's give it a column name is join underscore date if you are confused about these annotations you can check my other video tutorial on spring data jpa i have provided the link in the description now it's time to add the repository just close let's close this form and open the sidebar here in this root package creating a new java class name it employee repository and the repository needs to be interface so select the interface our repository is created collapse the sidebar this employee repository extend here we have couple of options for extending the repository we can extend it from jpa repository or we have options that we can use paging and sorting repository or you can use card repository i am going with this card repository because this is a simple card testing so card repository is enough here we need to provide the type of the model the entity that we are writing this repository for this is employee and the data type of the primary key that is long using as we have extended this card repository let's check the source downloading the source we will already have access some of the repository some of the method defined in this card repository like save save all find by id or many other many other delete by id or delete or many other necessary methods 
Besides this, I also need couple of extra methods that I need for the query. Let's define some of them. First one is getting the data using email. This cut repository, we can find, we can get the data using ID. But if we want to get the data by email, we need to define our custom method. So return type is return type is optional and type is employee and define the name define the method name find employee by email and pass the email as we have assumed that the email is unique so it will return only it may return only one result that's why we are using this optional next i am adding another method for finding the employee using name so it is that it will be type of list as there may be couple of employees with same name so it will return list of the employees type is employee method name find employees by name and as a parameter pass name let's import this class okay there is problem is in not importing so import java dot util dot list okay there is gone now let's create a new method here i will be using a custom query it will be list type of type is employee here i would like to query the all the employees that who have joined after a certain date so find by join joining date after provide the local provide the date local date and date input this local date class and here we need to provide our custom query uh, fix this provide the semicolon here provide the custom query using add query select e from employee e where e dot joining date greater than the provided date so as we have added a custom parameter here we need an another annotation at param and name is date so our repository class is ready now it's time to test this one let's close all of this open the sidebar here inside this source folder besides this main you can find another folder that is test and this is all the test code goes here here already we have a test defined by the spring let's create in this package our own test cases so adding a new java class let's name it employee repository test here we need to add an annotation at data jpa test to let the spring know that this this test is for testing the spring data jpa here we need to inject employee repository so employee repository name it repository and give it an annotation auto add then it's time to write the test cases to write the test cases first we need to annotate it with at test then give the provide the method let's say public void let's say at the very beginning we want to test the save operation so test save this does not accept any parameter here i would like to mention that in most cases the test case is defined in this way at first the test and then the name of the operation that we are going to test so for test save i would like to save an employee and check if the employees exist in the database let's say employee name is employee equals new employee here in the in this constructor let's provide the necessary property of the employee say the name is iftikhar email is provide the email address then provide the joining date so local date then let's say that off let's say 
this use this employee joined at 2024 at August 8 and that the date is 5 now it's time to save the employee so uh, repository dot save employee and also store this in save employee variable type is employee and variable name is saved employee and now test assertion, assertions make sure this assertion is from org dot junit dot jupyter api so assertions dot assert not now saved employee actually let's import this assertion class so let's import this so it is actually imported here uh, let's bring it at the end and i would like to import it as static import static unit jupyter api assertions then stop okay done now we can safely remove this portion now what we are doing it here first of all we are saving the employee in the database and after saving this we are storing the result returned from the database into this saved employee and checking this employee is not null okay so we can add another test assert true that is saved employee dot get id is greater than one okay that means if we save the employee as right now we don't have any employees saved so when we save the employee in the database after saving that data in the employee it will return the employee object with the id and we are checking if this id is greater than one let's run this test so you can click here in this play in this icon just beside this test or you can click here in the class level if you click here in the method level then this only this test method will be executed and if you click on click here in this class level then all the test cases defined in this class in this class will be executed for the time being let's execute this this test save method so run this run test save so at this point the test case is failed let's check the reason oh yeah as i have just saved the data the id is not greater than one because i just this is our first employee data and the id of this data if generated automatically and if the database is empty then the id of this employee will be one but here i am checking if the id is greater than one which is false so it will be greater than zero now let's run these test cases this time the test case passed so uh, till now we have write our first test case let's write a couple of other tests for example this time let's test the find employee by email annotate it with test public head test find by email repository dot find by find employee by email give it the email address and save it to the variable employee employee call up the sidebar the return type of this find employee by email is optional so the, if this empty then i will return now and here we need to assert the result assert not null give it employee and also let's check if the returned employee name this is our employee and employee name is this if taker let's try to get if the returned employee's name is equal to this name that we have defined while we are saving the employee so assert equals my expected value is if the car and the value i am getting from the database that is employee dot get name not get get name write another method at test public void 
test find all this time i will query all the data in the database and save it into a employee list and check if that is not null so list employee employee list equals repository dot find all what is the problem with that list i need to import java dot utl dot list and here we need to cast it with list list employee so now we have all the employee in employee list now we need to check if this is not null so assert not null is employee list and also let's check and assert true that the size of the employee employee list dot size greater than zero i would like to test these two cases again another method this time i will check the update operations so test public void test update here at the first i will get the employee from the database using email so repository dot find by email find employee by email learnwithithika.com then get the result and store it in the e1 of type employee now let's update the name of this employee so e1 dot set name give it with iftikhar and then save this one so repository dot save E1. Now again get the data. I would I will store it in result result variable repository dot find employee by email provide the email. Let's copy this one and paste it here and get the result and assert equals the expected result is this this one learn with iftikhar and the actual result i am getting from the database is result dot get name now let's write the test case for the query find employee that joined after a certain date so test it is public void test employee joint after after a certain date so uh, i will store it in list of employee let's check the repository employee repository what we have done here the other data type is list so uh, list employee list equals repository dot find employee joining date after local date dot of here provide the date after which we are trying to get the result so say 2024 and i would like to check the employee who have joined after august 6 here assert equals the expected result will be zero and the actual result is employee list dot size another test case for giving the delete test public void test delete employee let's give it a variable name is exist before deleting that is repository dot find by email let's copy this one find by email now let's delete this employee so repository dot delete provide the employee that we want to delete so copy this one and paste after that actually before deleting let's check if this employees exist so assert not null is exist before deleting and after that get the employee by email after deleting so employee 
name it um, not exist after deleting so let's copy this one again as we have deleted it here so this should be now so assert equals it will be null not exist after delete so we have defined couple of method so let's uh, run all of this we can run all of this method by clicking this play icon at class level so clicking here run empty repository test here you can see uh, some of the test case failed and these are in random order but if you check the test case at first we have saved this then we are trying to get the employee by email so so if we run this in this random order in this random order we will not get the result okay first we need to save then we need to run this one after this and so on so we can define uh, in which order this test should be run using an another annotation you can provide the order using at test method order method order dot order annotation dot class let's input the class and also we need to input this class here we can provide the order in which the test case should be run at order we will run this at first then provide order 2 for the next one order 2 then order 3 at order 4 order 5 and finally order 6 now let's run these test cases so click on this run empty test empty repository test our test case now run again some of the method passed and some of the failed and also you can see the test is now in order but now why the other test case failed that is because after running each test cases spring automatically roll the database to prevent this we can add another annotation for let's say for saving I, I don't want it to be rolled back so add another annotation roll back and set it to false now let's run this test again okay you can see the test all of the test case passed but this one is failed so check uh, what happened delete from id no value is present what is the issue okay here instead of this gate i need to provide or else now and run the test case again this time all test cases passed so we have successfully completed our card operation testing now as a bonus section i am going to show you how to test this card operation against a real server based database for this i am going to use mysql first of all let's connect with mysql and create the schema actually i have a brand new database created there is no schema is available now so i am going to create that one if you are using Intelligi IDA Ultimate version, you can access the database using this database tool. Click here, New Data Source. This is for MySQL database. Click here. Uh, everything is okay. Username is root. Give the password. I need to download the SI driver. Let's download it downloaded the driver for IntelliJ ID and test the connection so our database is connected okay click ok so here in this database let's create a new schema 
new schema name it crowd test and click ok so our scheme is created now we need to provide necessary configuration for accessing the database in the spring boot so in this main src main resource application.properties i am going to rename it to application.yml I, I don't need this line here i'm going to provide the actual configuration for connecting with the mysql database it will be spring data source url the url for mysql database is jdbc colon mysql colon forward slash localhost 3306 then the database name card test then we need to provide the username it is root giving the password and driver class name driver class name that is com.mysql.cj.jdbc.driver i also like to provide some other properties for showing the queries and do other operations so jpa hibernate ddl auto here we have couple of options create create drop update none and validate i will go for create drop in this case when you start a project it will create the necessary table and when we stop that project it will drop that table this should not be used in the production this is for this only for testing purpose so ddl auto is create drop then i would like to see the sql queries so show sql to true then need to provide the uh, properties hibernate format sql to true and and the database is mysql and finally database platform this is org dot hibernate dot dialect dot mysql 8 dialect okay that's all to use our mysql database we need to add a spe another special annotation in our this repository test class that is auto configuration auto configuration test data source and i want to replace by default spring uses s2 database for testing purpose i want to tell that spring should not use that one so we can do this using auto configuration auto configuration not auto configuration this will be auto configure test database and replace and give it to none now let's test this one this is a database again all the test case is passed and if we check the database we have do, we don't have any table if we refresh this don't have any table that is because in our application.yml i have selected create drop let's change this for the time being change this to create and run the test again so all the test case is passed if you check the database here we have now we have a table this is our employee table and if we want to see the data select this employee and edit this data here you can see one data is persisted in the database the data, the data is stored in the database because we have used this rollback to false and with that we are at the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe the channel and stay with us for the time being bye bye